Hi guys, I'm Dr. Sirajamad, your faculty of pharmacology and let's start the next episode of 5 PYQs in 5 minutes. The very first question that we are having for the day is a pregnant female with a history of asthma presenting in the third stage of labor. Remember this is 2023 wala, jis mein multiple asthma wale question the, this is the one, right? Which drug to be avoided in the third stage of labor? So remember among the given choices, the drug that should be avoided is carbo carboprost. This is one of the PGF2 alpha analog and they are very potent bronchoconstricting, right? They have very potent bronchoconstricting nature and because of this, they are going to be avoided always and always in bronchial asthma patient. Other drugs can be utilized, remember, safely, not Carboprost. In a patient plan for cardiac surgical procedure, which of the following is a preferred antibiotic? Among the given choices, remember prior to ins uh, prior to the incision, the anesthetist will be giving an antibiotic. Drugs like your cefazolin. This is one of the first generation cefalosporin. That is point to be noted number one. It is one of the first generation cefalosporin, and it is also having better tissue penetration. Now, because of the better tissue penetration. This is one such drug that is actually utilized for surgical prophylaxis. Kahan pe use karte hai? Surgical prophylaxis. So intraoperative infection ko kam karne ke liye we are going to utilize. See penicillin G can be utilized for many other condition. Amoxicillin is also one of the penicillin and imipenem is one of the carbapenem. They have multiple roles. But among the given choices, it is asking which of the following is the preferred. So always remember cefazolin is the first generation cefalosporin that is always and always preferred for surgical prophylaxis. A young female with a multiple sexual partner and vaginal discharge, gram staining of the discharge shows the following. So intracellular diplococci, intracellular diplococci, wherever we see, we always and always think about, we always and always think about gonorrhea. We always think about the gonorrhea. So the drug of choice for gonorrhea is going to be your ceftriaxone. Always remember, ceftriaxone is one of the third generation cephalosporin. It's one of the third generation cephalosporin and it is considered as a drug of choice in many conditions. It is a preferred antibiotic in many conditions, mainly preferred in, I used to say that mainly preferred in Mahatma Gandhi, MG, Mahatma Gandhi ki CECT. Now what is MG CT, CECT? That is going to be, they are going to be preferred in meningitis, gonorrhea, right, community acquired pneumonia, E. coli, chancroid, and typhoid fever which is also given the name as enteric fever in sare hi condition mein hum inko utilize kar sakte hain correct answer for this question is going to be a other options like doxycycline is one of the tetracycline it's one of the tetracycline agar maan lijiye resistant hai to we have multiple other uh, drugs that is available tetracycline could be one and tetracycline is having multiple other uses hai na to jitne bhi rare kind of infection hote hain lime disease urea plasma urolytcum induced urethritis jitne bhi rare kind of infection hote hain rocky mountain spotted fever un sabhi mein doxy is the something that is going to be preferred erythromycin it's one of the macrolides it's also one of the protein synthesis inhibitor that is utilized in the penicillin allergy cases ampicillin is also one of the penicillin but they are not going to be preferred for your gonorrhea. Gonorrhea is the correct one. Thikhe? So we have one last question, second last question, mechanism of action of tissue plasminogen activator. Now this time they give this question in 2024, but they did same topic, they gave this image, de diya, right? They gave an image that plasminogen say plasmin activate ho hai, and this plasmin is actually cutting the fibrin. So you do fibrin strands, hai. what is the purpose of this fibrin strand? They are holding the two platelets. So mali ye platelets jo hai, they are connected with one other, right? With the help of these fibrins. So this plasminogen to plasmin. So I always compare plasmin with a scissor. So this scissor ke jaisa hai, right? Scissor ke jaisa, jaise hi aega, they will immediately start causing, they are going to immediately start, you know, causing fibrinolysis. It's called a fibrinolytic drug. And this fibrinolytic agent, it is once it is working, then remember the platelet to platelet aggregation will be reduced. So this Pla tissue plasminogen activator, they are going to be drugs like your streptokinase, streptokinase, other drugs are going to be your urokinase, there are so many drugs, streptokinase, urokinase, retiplase, retiplase, any streptoplase, any streptoplase, ltplase, ltplase, and we are also having tenectiplase. So there are so many of the drugs and we have a separate lecture on this topic as well, right, that we have done. But here we have SURAT, they are the tissue plasminogen activator. In one of the other AIMS question, they ask that what is the antidote of what is the antidote of 
टिश्यू प्लाजमिनोजन एक्टिवेटर लाइक स्ट्रेप्टोकाइनिस तो रिमेम्बर एंटीरोड इसका होता है एप्साइलोन एमाइनो कैप्रोइक एसिड ई एस ई ए एप्साइलोन एमाइनो कैप्रोइक एसिड ऑल्टरनेटिवली वी ऑल्सो ट्रेनक्सामिक एसिड एंड वेर डू वी यूज दिस टिश्यू प्लाजमिनोजन एक्टिवेटर कहाँ पर यूज करते हैं तो रिमेम्बर दे आर मेनली गोइंग टू यूटिलाइज इन एस टी एलिवेशन एम आई मेनली गोइंग टू यूटिलाइज इन योर एस टी एलिवेशन एम आई राइट लास्ट क्वेश्चन मैकेनिज्म ऑफ एक्शन बॉटलियम टॉक्सिन सो वी हैव कवर्ड दिस इन वन ऑफ आर प्रीवियस एपिसोड एज वेल बॉटलियम टॉक्सिन मैं बार बार बोलता हूँ मेरे स्टाइल से पढ़ा करिए बॉटलियम टॉक्सिन बाहर नहीं जाने देगा किसको एस्टाइल कोलिन को सो दे इनहिबिट द एसिटाइल कोलिन राइट दे इनहिबिट द एस्टाइल कोलिन एग्जिट फ्रॉम द प्री साइनेप्टिक राइट फ्रॉम द प्री साइनेप्टिक न्यूरोन फ्रॉम प्री साइनेप्टिक न्यूरोन सो प्री साइनेप्टिक न्यूरोन से ये बाहर नहीं आने देगा तो इसको बोलता हूँ बॉटलेम टॉक्सिन बाहर नहीं जाने देगा राइट इनिबिट द रिलीज ऑफ एस्टाइल कोलिन दैट इज द करेक्ट वन राइट इनिबिट एस्टाइल कोलिन एंट्री इनटू द वेसाइकल वेसाइकल में जाने से रोकने वाले अगेन लर्न इन माई वे दैट इज गोइंग टू बी वेसामिकॉल ये ऐसे ड्रग हैं जो एसिटाइल कोलिन को वेसाइकल में नहीं जाने देंगे वेसाइकल में जाने को रोकने वाले वेसामिकॉल एन एम रिसेप्टर देर आर मेनी ड्रग्स दैट डीपोलराइजिंग मसल रिलैक्स एंड नॉन डीपोलराइजिंग मसल रिलैक्स एंड दैट इज गोइंग टू बी क्यूरारे ड्रग्स सक्सिनल कोलिन दोस्ट काइंड ऑफ ड्रग इनहिबिट द रियप्टिक वी डू नॉट हैव दैट ड्रग फॉर दैट बट रिमेंबर मैकेनिज्म ऑफ एक्शन ऑफ बॉटलेप टॉक्सिन इज गोइंग टू बी ए इनहिबिटिंग द रिलीज ऑफ एस्टाइल कोलिन एंड वी हैव मल्टीपल अदर यूज लाइक दे आर यूटिलाइज फॉर ब्यूटी ट्रीटमेंट यू मस्ट हैव यू नो यू मस्ट हैव रेड दिस ऑन ब्यूटी ट्रीटमेंट के लिए एंड ऑल्सो फॉर द प्रोफिलेक्सिस ऑफ माइग्रेन दे हैव बिन ऑल्सो यूटिलाइज इन प्रोफिलेक्स ऑफ माइग्रेन दे आर सो मेनी अदर यूज फॉर द बॉटलेम टॉक्सिन दैट वी हैव राइट सो दिस वॉज Five PYQs in five minutes, which we wanted to discuss. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe with your friends. And you can download the PDF from this Telegram that we have. I will see you in my next episode. Thank you very much.